shoot a video to let you guys know how everything is going with nursing school and I just had a recent exam on Tuesday and I did really well I got a 92 I'm actually really proud of myself um, I walked out of that exam feeling like I had no clue uh, what was going on in that exam I felt like you know I did not study any of this this was not on my PowerPoints this wasn't in my study guide that I put together and I was pretty much like like you know what is going on but I got my grade maybe a couple hours later and I was shocked like I literally screamed when I saw my grade I thought that you know maybe that the nine was supposed to be inverted and supposed to be a six I didn't know what happened I was like oh my goodness I actually got a 92 so I was really really happy and I'm glad that you know my studying has paid off because I have been putting in a lot of time um, study and it's working and I don't feel as stressed as I did last semester for fundamentals I think maybe I'm kind of getting a hang of things and I'm just glad that things are going well so I have an A average right now and I'm super duper happy because now we get into the really hard stuff uh, Matt Child that is my next rotation and that starts um, not next Monday but the Monday after that we have a spring break for one week and during that time, I am doing nothing but nursing school stuff. I will be reading, completing assignments, all of that. Tell you guys, um, you know, what I'm doing to try to prepare for it. And also I'll touch a little bit on what I did to prepare for my last exam. So my study guide uh, for med surge was pretty much like how I showed you on my first one. I read all the chapters, then I start to type up notes, and then I also add any points that my teachers covered in their lecture, and then I add it into my notes as well. And then also what I do is when I take uh, practice questions from the Saunders online, in the book or the med search success book I put them into um, my notes so I'll take I'll take the uh, the quizzes and then all the answers that I get right if it has a rationale that I didn't actually consider I'll add that in and any rationale that um, was given that helps to further clarify um, the subject material I put that in as well and if you have the Lewis book I absolutely re recommend getting the uh, study guide I think that made a big difference um, for me at least when testing. It gave a lot of questions um, from the actual textbook which I thought was really helpful. The med search success book I did not like as much. I feel as though um, that was a lot more general material and if you know our lectures weren't, our lectures were a little more specific so I think following it the study guide to the chapters that they actually assign help you more than just taking a general knowledge. Although I'd say it's good to know. Um, these are definitely things you need to know, but as far as testing, if they use that textbook, I recommend you getting that study guide. Um, there's a few things I want to mention you guys. Uh, for one, resources that I really like is the Megan McClintock videos, I think that's her name, or Barbara McClintock, I can't remember. Something McClintock, but it's on YouTube, and I definitely recommend you guys going through her videos for fluid and electrolytes. That was the one thing that I had the biggest issue with is fluid and electrolytes, is especially having to do with IV fluids as far as hypertonic, hypotonic, and isotonic, and then when do you give it, and then what are the symptoms you need to look out for. So watching that video definitely helped me um, to further understand it, especially with um, electrolyte imbalances. Um, so like, you know, if you have hyperphosphatemia, what are you going to see? Hypokalemia, hyperkalemia, all those things. Um, I think her PowerPoint, um, her YouTube video really helps solidify a lot of the knowledge. And if you still feel unsure, I would say watch a few more videos to help you really get um, a good groundwork, um, that's not the word I'm looking at, a good base for you to understand your material. And then always do, um, you know, test questions. But for fluid and electrolytes, honestly, it comes down to memorization as far as the um, ranges that the um, electrolytes run in. So like, um, Potassium is 3.5 to 5. You just have to know that. There's no going around that you can't, you can't, um, you know, just try to wing it, just see the number one to remember. You absolutely need to know it, especially because you need to know um, what is hyper and what's hypo. So I would say for your electrolytes, definitely know your ranges and then know maybe the top five signs you would see for each that are issues and then also how you would treat it. And I think that's really important that will help you. Um, what else? Um, definitely do um, 
or definitely read the beginning of your books like the fundamentals of success med search success um NCLEX review there's always like a little section on how to take test questions I absolutely recommend you guys actually going over that and looking through it um I think for me that's what made the big difference between an A and a B is if I didn't understand a question I would guess but you can't just you know just go willy-nilly just pick C because you know it sounds good you need to kind of you know cut out some of the answers that are distractors and I think reading those test success books they help you to uh, narrow down the answers and I definitely think that's something you should do um, I think that's it really for med surge I think that's it um also what i have been doing and i don't know if i mentioned this to you guys um yet but i signed up for two things one is a dosage calc um question of the day if you go to dosagehelp.com and if you register with them you give them your number they send you an email every day and it has test questions on it So you get test questions every day, and you can test them. Um, how do you do your math? And then another one that I got, and this one I love. Uh, to be honest, I really don't do the dosage um, math ones, and that's really, I don't know why. I just I can't be bothered with it because you have to get pen and paper. But what I do love is um, the NCLEX question of the day, and this one is by Lippincott Passpoint. So they send you a question every single day, and it's an NCLEX question. And it allows you to test your knowledge and it gives you the rationale and it even keeps track of your score so you can see like those past few days I had a really bad week or whatever I was not getting any of those answers right but for the most part I do and I think it's good because you know even though we haven't touched on a lot of this material you need to kind of familiarize yourself with it so I would say definitely do it and it's free why not <laughs>